Welcome to Silky Mountain. This is going to be a tour and review. This is Alex. This is a brand new water park just opened to the public yesterday. It is June 28th, so we're going to take you around, show you all the water slides, and give us a little quick review of what we think of this brand new water park that reportedly has cost nearly $90 million, if I've heard correctly. That it is $45 for admission, $15 for parking. So, uh, yeah, this should be really exciting. Lots of fun slides. All right, here are the first buildings you see when you walk in. We'll take a look at them a little bit later to show you some of the merch and offerings of all the food and whatnot. Right, here is the entire water park as it is. Looks like there's plenty of space for expansion one day, but what's here so far is, I think, but we'll see. Let's see if it's worth it. Let's go ahead and take on some of these water slides. Something you don't see very often at a water park is just this pool right here, Coyote Springs. Of course, as coaster people, the first place we are going to check out is that water coaster. Looks fantastic with lots of weird elements all put into a water coaster that we've never seen before. As far as I know, I've never seen like a wall. Oh my God, this looks amazing. All right, here are the regulations for Avalanche. One person can be only 250, two people combined can be 400, and height requirement is 48, 42 with a parent. All right. So the water coaster, Avalanche. Uh, this is a water propelled water coaster. Some use magnets or other forms, uh, but this one like really has a lot of squirters. So when you go over every single hill, you get absolutely drenched. It is absolutely fantastic. You have a wave of water that just goes over your head as you reach the top of every hill. Oh, and it's so many different elements. It's such a nice combination. I love it. It's so much different from every water coaster you've ever done, isn't it? Yeah, that, uh, uh, I call it the half pipe. Half pipe. The half pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's fantastic and uh, no airtime. So if you're looking for that kind of thrill, you're not going to get that. But really cool with the saucers and the half pipe. We're going to go again. A thumbs up on this one. And next up is Blue Mountain Mayhem. 250 for individual rider. Weight limit five people. Total of 700. 48 inches to ride. Let's go and check out the blue one. All right, so we just did the Blue Mountain Mayhem with the two reversals there. Uh, we really enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, if you've been to Volcano Bay down in Orlando, they have a slide very similar to it. It's about on par. I probably like that one a little bit more, but it's still super fun and lots of speed into each reversal. So we're gonna go try Rainbow Revenge. Revenge, 250 max weight per person, five people up to 800 pounds, 42 height requirement. This is probably your least intense family raft ride in the park. Uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. It's very pretty inside. It has like lots of lights coming through the tube, so it's like a light show inside. Very cool, very pretty. You have to see it to experience it. All right, next up is gonna be Hang Tennessee. This is a flow rider. It's kind of like a surfing simulator, a lot of fun. Let's see how Ariel does. Steer. The Wipeout Soaky Surf Bar is right across from the Flow Rider, the Hang 10 that we did. And uh, yeah, looks like a bunch of canned beers. And then it looks like currently Blue Moon. Miller Lite and Budweiser, or Bud Light as the stuff on tap. And it looks like they have a little bit of a food menu too. Seems like they have some permanent food trucks all around the park. Here's Rolly Macaroni. Oh, it looks like I have some really cool stuff. Anything that interests you, Ariel? The little one would probably be good. The kitties? Yeah. Ooh, so garlic shrimp. Oh, wow. These menus actually look really cool. Price is pretty in line with all water parks and theme parks. Black Bear Rapids, Ariel, is their Lazy River and Adventure River. So, if you've been to Volcano Bay, you know they have two Lazy Rivers, but one's not so lazy. One has rapids and uh, waves dump on you and all that stuff. So this actually is a hybrid, it has both. So, as you can see right now, between 10 and 12, the big waves are on. And uh, yeah, if you're afraid of a lazy river or something like that, or you just want to relax, you don't want to go during these times. We finally showed up! Ah! Ah! What was that? Did you hear that? 
No. What? It got me freaking out. I didn't know you flipped over. <laughs> you know, just hold on to the handles. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like they have some waterfalls that are not activated right there. Uh, okay, Ariel, first thought. So we really like the Fearless River at Volcano Bay, but ever since they toned it down, made you wear life jackets and not be on a tube. I mean, I don't have that one. Regardless, um, it's kind of fallen down on my list here. This seems like this might take the contender. I mean, you don't have the volcano that you're going through, but at, uh, yeah. I, only thing I could use, I could use some music. Yeah. It's a little quiet. Okay, next up we're going to check out this water play area but it also has some true adult slides including a funnel which is where we're going to go first looks like a lot of fun huge actually really huge for one of these things lots of interactive stuff lots of kitty slides family slides and bears on top of it with a honeybee and alpine mountains on the top i love the theming it's called the hive that makes sense I love the theming to the Smoky Mountain. Here's a better look at all these flies from above the beehive. And fantastic view of everything in the range. I love those bears. What do you think? It's cute. Pretty views, right? Of the Smokies in the distance and everything. I like how those flies are so colorful. Yeah, and since they're brand new, they look absolutely fantastic. Oh, okay. uh, it's really fun but you only get to go around once before. There's a pool in the bottom of it. There's something that you drop down in the middle so you can kind of try to go as fast as possible and uh, see how many times you go around. This one you go around once, but still to have a uh, toilet bowl, which is my favorite type of slide, is fantastic. And there goes that water from that beehive. Next up is a slippery salamanders. What do you think of this thing? I've always wanted to do something like this. Yeah, I've done, it's kind of like Wipeout, right? Yeah, but, and I've done but in the, real life. I've run the icebergs and like the trampolines at camp. The icebergs are very hard to climb because it's slippery. So yeah. it looks easy, but it's not. At the back of the park, we have the Be Good Cafe. Let's see what they have. Looks like we have a pretty much theme park staples. Cheeseburgers, hot dogs, salads. Everything right now during the COVID scare is uh, prepackaged and covered. So that is very good to see. So a new trend in the industry is these micro-sized versions of adult slides with all the really fun stuff, but kid size. I love them. Great to see more parks do them. So you have like the mini funnel right there, and then you have the like the reversal slide right there. I've never seen that. And over at the hive, they actually had a mini bull slide as well. So very cool. So as I was saying, how they are actually mini sized versions. The blue slide is actually called Mini Mayhem, where the other the big one was called Blue Mountain, blue Mountain Mayhem. So there you go. Awesome. Yo, this is in Sellersville, which is the town that you have to drive through to get to Pitch and Forge in Gatlinburg. And uh, its location is very uh, noticeable. It has the big Soaky Mountain sign on the front of the mountain. And it's also across from Wilderness Lodge, which is an indoor water park. That's not too shabby itself, it looks like. We've never been there. It's awesome outdoors. Yeah, so, yeah, it has outdoors, indoor stuff for summer and for all year round stuff. So if you know where the Wilderness Lodge is, Soaky Mountain is right across from it. And there is that little, oh my God, it's so cute. This is so cute. Look at this thing, Ariel. I wish I could do it. Oh my God. And here's a look down the eye of the storm there. Very cool. 
So we've been pretty much going around the water park counterclockwise and we've come up to another few eateries. We have Tacalicious. I like tacos. And it smells absolutely fantastic. Let's take a look at the menu. Pretty standard stuff, but looks really awesome. You can get some guac. Ooh. Again, prices are pretty much in, in check with what you would see at any water park or amusement park. And then we have the Soaky Shake. I like that. The Soaky Shake Shop. That's awesome name. Ooh. Of course, you have your shakes. Here's everything in there. It is a little bit more expensive than we saw at Dollywood yesterday. I'll have to say that much. Cinnamon Coast Buns. Ooh. And then they have some donuts. Pretty expensive, though. So on top of the taco truck is a observation deck slash place to eat your tacos. Provides a wonderful 360 view, or more like 270 view, of the entire water park. Very cool, very cool. All right, let's move on to some more water slides. Okay, next up are all these tube slides. Lots of different stuff. We have mini funnels, we have constrictor slides. Here are all the slides, all themed to snakes. All right, let's go at them. All right, so this one has a really weird setup. You actually have to go down the mountain to get your tubes, and then you have to walk back up the mountain, and then you're gonna have to walk back up the mountain again. But I assume, you don't have to go back up to the entrance every time you do a, a new slide. Next up is cotton mouth coils. All right, so we started out with a yellow one. This is a constrictor type slide. A lot of fun. It gets really wide in the turns and then it kind of tightens up and you pick up a lot of g-force and speed through the turns. And uh, the light coming through with those little stripes there, very kind of trippy. It's awesome. Fun slide, would do again. All right. the mini tornado slides are the green ones so we just did the green one uh three mini funnels that's pretty standard for these but ariel do you feel like they never really picked up much speed going into them no, I don't think it has much height as other ones. Yeah, so uh, it's still a lot of fun because we always love the mini funnels, but you don't get as much action. But if you use your feet to kind of steer yourself, you can go backwards through the funnels and then that's a lot of fun. So that's the pro tip here. That's interesting. All the way forward. Yeah. All right, next up is going to be this red and yellow orange one where you actually can race each other. It's really cool that uh, they actually kind of join together so you can see your progress, I imagine, as you go down the slide. This one is called Copperhead Clash. Let's go give it a try. Pretty standard tube ride, but it was fun to see your head at one point poking above the divider and seeing that we were like neck and neck for the first time it came in and then, then I blew you away. But kids couldn't see each other. No, no. So, fun. I wish the divider between the two slides was a little lower so you could see your competitor a little bit better. slide the uh, patriotic one the red white and blue one very cool those stars up there illuminate inside of the dark tunnel it looks absolutely gorgeous and then you have the red white and blue stripes in the white section uh yeah really cool uh pretty standard tube slide though nothing too exciting so very good for our kids just a little comment on the landscaping it's pretty minimal basically no trees lots of shade though but just some little touches that probably should have been thought about a little bit like this electrical box right in front of the slide. Not a great aesthetic, but uh, these you can see lots of shade, but absolutely no big trees that would ever grow in. So that's unfortunate. All right, next up, we're gonna try out Soaky Surge. This is their wave pool. There you go. Pretty big water depth for a wave pool. Usually it's nowhere near 11 feet. So this should be pretty cool. We saw the waves going earlier and we'll uh, see how they perform. These are ridiculous. Alright, I can tell you right now, these waves are amazing. Alright, next up is Flash and Furious, they're not fly.
But nice little thing they have in here is on really hot days, when these steps get really hot, they have little misters to cool them down. Very nice little feature, so you don't burn your feet. I just did all four mat slides. I really like it. So the mat slides are obviously we're the one with the checkerboard platter and the blue bottom here. Uh, really fast, really speedy. I like that up there next to the teal ones and the green one you see has a blue section. That's like the uh, other racer tube slide where the, the tubes join together so you can see your position and then there's other positional change where you can check out how uh, the racer right next to you is doing. So lots of fun. Now. What's really cool is at the end, these two dives here are like a diving S-curve. So you bank to the left, bank to the right really quickly, and then dip down that blue section to end. This might be my favorite mat slide ever. I really like it. And if it wasn't such a hike, I'd probably do it a fifth time. Mix up the drop pod slide. Whoop. up the speed slide holler. All right, so we just did the drop pod and the speed slide. Both of them are pretty standard. So a lot of fun, but pretty standard up As we're going to shut down for some, one last thing to note that is uh, if you want a laying down chair, it's nothing but seated chairs in the wave pool area. If you want a lounge chair, you have to get a cabana. So there's that. All the restrooms have uh, family restrooms as well, so that's always helpful. All right, so main eatery is the Camp Base Bistro. Pretty standard stuff for a water park, theme park. So you have uh, cheeseburgers, hamburgers, a Beyond Burger, chicken tenders, chicken wings, and barbecue. So looks pretty good. Standard prices as always, and ice cream, soda. And all that stuff. Alright, at the front of the park you have your standard gift shop with Soaky Mountain gear. Sweatshirt is $34.99, pretty standard. Beach towels. So, pretty standard stuff. Everything you need at a water park, in case you forgot it. Alright, last up is the candy cabin. Let's check out all the treats. <laughs> made on site. Nice to see. What are you thinking? Oh, look at the milk mint. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even want to we don't that. have a collar, do we? Oh, ding dang. Um, oh, look at the milk chocolate. <laughs> so that is our little tour of Soaky Mountain. We spent about four hours there before the rainstorm came in and we got to do everything. So we were happy. Uh, we bought tickets for about $45 online and $15 for parking. I think it's worth the price. It might be a little expensive for a regional water park, but considering how expensive Pigeon Forge can be when you could be spending $15 for a 5 to 10 minute Alpine coaster, I think the value is definitely there. Now, how does it compare to Dollywood's Splash Country? I'd say that the slides blow it away. But the park is just not as nice as Splash Country. If you look at the satellite image of the park currently, it's still what was there before, which was just a forest. And unfortunately, it just completely clear cut that. I, I wish they'd kind of integrated some of those old growth trees into the park, but they didn't, unfortunately. That's really the only complaint I have. So I, I think at this point, both parks are pretty much worth going to. But if you had to choose one... If you're going for the water slides, go to Soaky Mountain. If you're going for more of a relaxed experience of a day, go to Dollywood Splash Country. It's a great start. Uh, if they add some additions, we would definitely come back, but it will probably be quite a few years before we decide to go back. Anyways, thank you so much for watching The Coaster Spot. This has been Alex. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.